So it looks like we got some cloud over here, like a big wall of a cloud right there. And looks like a possible, like the way we see the texture of those clouds, possible and Meso is trying to hide behind that one. Which is kind of weird because the fact that, wait a minute, all of our rainbow right there, um, definitely seen that. And it's getting like even longer. Oh, that actually looks cool. But, yeah, that's what it looks like so far right now, but nothing else. Like, the storm's been developing out there. I mean, yesterday, I saw, like, a, um, a mesocyclone develop. Me and my wife and our friend saw it, so it was, like, pretty interesting. I mean, got some of the time lapse of it. Even got, like, the, the different time zones of how it was developing. Which was amazing. And now the next day we're getting some more storms coming. But it still looks like a rainbow lining right there. So wind is already building up, so yeah, um So the clouds are definitely building up its way up. See the like going like the way like going down, up and down, like in the way like um developing and getting weaker, it's like going back and forth and all that like so, yeah. It kind of gets confused in a way, like I don't think it's too strong enough for the weather to really develop. But it's definitely going to get warmer today, so it's possible to change. So that's what it pretty much looks like right now, but you can definitely tell the puff crowds are trying to hit in right there. Right around this area, um, there's another one right there. So yeah, they're trying to develop right now, but um, it's either getting weak or it's either trying to develop. I got the time map seeing what it's going to do, so it'll be pretty interesting to see how it all comes to play, so in case we got any super cells. Yeah, so I see that texture of the cloud right there and another one over there, but impossible that it's um, not going to happen right around here just yet, unless it does build up around this cloud. I don't know. It's possibly getting more weak, but who knows what's going on just yet. Oh, look at what we have here. A storm that's heading our direction and it's at Fort Dodge, but the Meso is pointing to Ames. Oh wow, and just like um, yesterday we were being chased by a meso, but even though we did it in purpose to see what the meso was going to do yesterday, and now we got one coming today. Oh wow, I'm like look at it, like, there's blue sky everywhere, like the supercell is just right there, and I can definitely see the intensity of the wind already right now, so obviously there's something going on out there. But this is like um, nearly almost 40 miles per hour of a meso, so I definitely want to keep an eye on what's going on out there. So I'm just in the middle of taking a dog out, I'm like seeing um, a storm coming out there, so yeah. Um, definitely a mess is probably hiding behind there. I want to at least try to get the footage of the mess before it even hits, like, like I said, it's another project. Like look, at there's like parts like no clouds from there. Once I move forward, or I mean if the dog lets me, he's in the middle of going to the bathroom, but yeah. It's pretty much crazy, like there's blue sky right there, and there's a storm right there already, like. It's not long, like I haven't even posted the June 20th old of like um, the meso that was building up. And now we got a storm right here, possibly heading our direction. But I need to see what the, it's going on the way though. So, there's a supercell right behind me. Um, there's definitely a meso. I can see the meso already. The meso's right back there, um, right there. That's why I'm repainting itself from like yesterday, because yesterday we was being chased by a meso and what like, that was be, like being built up and now we got a mess coming this way it's kind of i guess it's kind of like me paying the favor i guess in a way like hey guess what i'm coming back um in a way or, even though it's a different meso but probably even more a stronger one too so definitely going to be curious what's going to happen with the weather itself we got the 360 going right now the time lapse let's see what it's going to do it's definitely going to start getting a little donko a bit so Definitely want to keep an eye on what's happening right now with the storm itself. Yeah, there it is, like the, the, the super sail right there. Um, the mess was like right behind there, like where I'm pointing at. That's where the mess was at. Um, it's definitely getting closer. I can definitely see the mess was getting closer. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how it's all going to turn out. The storm is coming right in Ames. So here you go, guys. There's the storm. I know there's been a lot of lightning out there, but. It should be like there's a mess so we're definitely coming in. I want to see the time now, seeing what it does. It's definitely going to be really interesting how it all comes to play. 
Oh yeah, and just look at all, all everywhere. I mean, it's the same range where I showed it on that one Saturday. Like it wasn't not last Saturday, but it was a Saturday before. But look, there's like blue sky over there, with some clouds. I mean, there's some storm systems. But there's like blue sky over here with the sun shining right now. But there it is with the the storm itself right in front, definitely heading this direction. The meso is definitely white in that cloud right there. Definitely want to keep an eye on it in case there's any tornadic activity. Definitely we want to keep an eye on that. People always ask me what's a meso, a meso cyclone, it's like a tornadic activity. You know like wind and cold meets warm air and it creates like a meso cyclone. A meso cyclone is like the like a um, vortex that looking like um, um, rotation, like the rotations of the clouds, like in a way like it doesn't matter if it's like rotation, rotating slowly or rotating fast, it's a meso. If, if it's creating the wind, it's a meso. Like, of itself like um like just different forms of mesos and that's the thing that's the interesting part that's why i'm curious about the mesos mainly because the mesos are definitely the ones you want to keep an eye on the most when it comes to the tornadoes and stuff and that's why i do more research about the mesos itself that's why i did the video of the meso building up whoa we got something like over there right over there i think i got probably possible video footage just keep an eye on what's going on, on that side usually in that side right back there can form a tornado Usually something like that could form, possibly form a tornado. It'd definitely be pretty interesting to see how that turns out. Last time I did like a video like around here, or, well not last time, it was like it was, we had a mess that was like dying, but then uh, like the one before that was building up. So we don't know what this mess is going to do now. It's going to be interesting to see how the video progresses right now. Like I haven't even edited the video to the point where like trying to put it all together in pieces of the storm that I've seen. Um, yesterday, like it wasn't like no lightning, but we had like a mess out there. But this is definitely hitting the aim, so yeah, it's definitely gonna be interesting how it all comes to play. Yeah, hello guys. So, um, got the camera ready. Um, definitely gonna get ready to take the footage because, um, what I'm about to show you guys is, um, another storm system coming to Ames. We got a mess coming our way, so, um, I don't see bits of the scroll line right now, so it's starting to review itself. I got the time maps going, so that way, in case if I see anything happening, you'll see it. Like you see, right behind me, that, there it is. There it is. There is the um, the meso white dale right behind me, or the, the supercell. But I'll sh um, try to change the video frame right there. We'll see. There it is. Like the meso is right there if you see the edge right on that side, the cloud. Like, look over there. Definitely over there. Um, oh yeah, I can definitely see bits of squirrel line, definitely. I can definitely see the squirrel line. Sometimes they say, like, you want to look in the back of the squirrel line meso, um, the um, meso cyclone, because in the back of the side, you want the back in the storm, you want to keep an eye on, like, back in the, the edges of those clouds, because the reason why is a possible tornado could try to form. And that's the thing. That's why I'm keeping an eye on it. It's like yesterday, we was being like, um, like not chased by a meso in a way. Well, but in a way, we was trying to get ahead of it a few times. Like I was like driving, getting ahead of it a few times each time on the storm itself. Like I wanted to keep an eye, like what it was gonna do. And yesterday, the storm, like the meso, was building up. It got weaker by the time like it like went up to like Story County or somewhere, but. It was pretty interesting seeing a meso cyclone build up like right there. Like with that Grand Junction, we was at um, near Beaver, and it was like it, uh, when I got out of the car, I was like really surprised how the meso built it up when we got out of near Beaver. Then when it was near Ogden, and the meso got like um, even bigger, like even more crazy. Like you can definitely see like anything tornadic activity is trying to act up, but it was like it wasn't fully developed. And then it was like um, past um, Boone, and like it was so dark. I somewhat seen like the mess of like I seen like a, a buildup of it, but it got so dark I couldn't see what it was doing. So that that's the sucky part. But there it is. There was like the um, the scroll line definitely out there hitting now. There's probably like hitting on this side, this side. I just thought I want to show you guys what's going on. I got the 360 camera going, so. The 360 camera is going to detect it and see what the meso cyclone is going to do. It's going to be pretty interesting. It's not as big as the one as our Saudi was. Not last Saudi, but the Saudi before. Saudi before that actually was building up right in front of me. That was incredible. There's like there was even a tornado trying to form behind that building over there. Um, 
yeah, that was just really amazing. Um, just seeing how it was all coming to place. Like, you got some like, that's something to keep an eye on, that little dark edge like in the near those trees. That's something that could form a tornado or like those like a dark edge like around that side that to keep an eye on, possible a tornado could try to form. Like, oh yeah, this is definitely crazy. Like the lightning could probably get possibly crazy to the point if the lightning does get crazy, I probably will go back inside. But this is definitely a storm. A funnel is definitely coming. Like, they didn't really mention today what, what the weather was going to really be. Like, they didn't say, like, either it was going to be in slight or module. This storm is actually, like, came out of nowhere. Like, I was not expecting what I'm seeing right now. But I guess I guess this month has been kind of redeeming itself with the weather lately. And you know what? I like that. I like the fact that it's actually redeeming itself because it's been a boring month with the storms that we hardly had anything interesting happening. But you know what? It's been redeeming itself. I'm going to do another video post so that way I get my video blogs going as I can. The storm is right there in front of us coming to Ames right now. So I'm going to try to post as public as I can to let people know, especially the storm is heading to Ames. If it keeps heading to southeast, it's going to probably hit like um, some of like towns like Maxwell, um, towns like um, Colfax, maybe Perry or... Um, Anywhere that's like um, north or southeast of Ames, because it's heading southeast. It wasn't Fort Dodge, so I don't know what I did over at Fort Dodge because I haven't seen any posts yet. Because I got too excited trying to figure out what's going on. Like I'm curious what that little cloud is over doing over that over that um, side there, because that side can actually form a tornado right there, back there, that little um, darkness um, bottom there. Right there, that could try to possibly form a tornado. Usually, you have to keep an eye on this stuff, like in the mess with itself. But then again, it's kind of part of the um, scroll lines. But the scroll lines itself is like too faint. That's the thing. But I thought I'd show you guys what's going on. We got a storm coming. Why the names? There we have it. There we have it. The scroll line, I can definitely see right there, right in that edge right there. And there's parts of the clouds, um, white moving a bit. It's still coming. Like, you can definitely see it out there. Um, yeah, it's definitely pretty interesting. Um, in case if I do see something interesting, like, look at that. Look at that part right there. It looks like score line is definitely moving in parts of, like, um, Story County already. So it's already in part of Story County right now. That part's moving in first. So it's definitely a big whole base. I do want to try to get that full big picture of it before I um, do more videos. So I definitely see a bit of that squirrel line, like, I can definitely see bits and pieces there, like, it's, it's faint. The squirrel line's a bit faint, but you can see it. You can see the funnel itself coming right in towards Ames. Like, there's something, like, way back there, like, I'm all curious about, like, but I don't see the storms just yet, the lightning or anything yet, but I'm sure it's, like, right behind that area. Like, I'm trying to look at the radar just in case that TVS coming our way. Um... So I'm definitely curious what's going to happen to White Wild Hill, but it's right behind um, that building, like it was um, that one Saturday on the 15th. Like it's kind of amazing that we've been like seeing messos after messos the past um, few weeks. Um, like Saturday on the 15th, we seen a meso building up. Um, the 17th, there was a meso dying. Um, Yesterday we seen a meso um, happen. Um, I think there was another one like two days before. I don't remember, but it's been quite a bit going on. Definitely getting darker, but you could I could definitely see a bit of that squirrel line. That squirrel line you want to definitely keep an eye on. I definitely seen lightning showing up on the that side area, so definitely gonna be interesting. I'm gonna probably switch the video on the um, time lapse. So I thought I'd show like even a longer range of the meso right there. Like there's the eye of the storm there. Another eye of the storm, and another eye of the storm. It is incredible, guys. I thought I'd show you just a little bit of that. Wow. And it's getting right close, right in front of me. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the eye of the storm right there, the eye of the storm. And I think, um, I think another one's trying to build up right there, an eye of the storm. And there's a bit of another eye of the storm. Where, like, where, where it's talking about back in that, I keep saying June 6th, I think it was June 5th last year, that the eye of the storms that we've seen over there on the, uh, the meso, like the meso we've seen, the cyclone meso that we've seen is coming up right here, right now. Like the intensity of the storm itself, wow, you can definitely see it. It's actually built up a bit, it's actually quite a bit built up. And I can definitely see it right now. I can see the storm itself, but I don't see any tornadoes trying to form just yet. But I know the wind 
It's possibly gonna pick up, but I got some 360 action. Yes, already. Uh, even better, even better than um 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 what you say um better than um Saturday. Saturday's one because I got even more longer footage and like bigger footage this time. Even a 360 of five minute footage, like of the storm itself. Like you're just gonna keep an eye and look at the texture itself, like. I can't wait to upload on PlayStation um, 4 because that's where you can see it. Whoa, look at the sun shining out there. Over there. Woo! And it's coming and it's ready. It's coming right now. Woo! And I can feel the wind. The wind is definitely picking up. The wind is definitely picking up big time. But I'm not seeing any action just yet in the storm itself, but I see. I see it right now. It's right there. It's coming. It's coming. I mean, other people just like mind their own business and stuff like that. But look at the wind. The wind is picking up. I haven't checked the weight. I'll see what the miles per hour is on the wind. But if it's building up, it's going to be pretty crazy. And wow. I can't wait to see what the time lapse shows, what the other videos show on this storm itself. It's definitely moving in. I definitely have as much as footage as I can. I saw lightning out there. But woo! It's hell! <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. We got this. We got a storm coming our way right now. The Mesto is ready, about to move in Ames. Oh, yeah. It's definitely crazy. I mean, look at that. Look at the build up through that squall line right there. That bit of the squall line trying to show itself. It's cooling down fast right now. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. You can see the bit of the um, bluish, um, grayish there. Like, you can tell about the bluish, grayish stuff. Like, the storm is definitely coming in, but it's, they said it's the uh, beginning, not to worry about. I think it's like the, uh, the end of the cloud, it's the worry about. Like, this stuff. This stuff can form a tornado from the end of the side of this cloud. So, yeah, it's definitely looks a bit quite interesting. I got both videos going on at once. Uh, actually, I got three videos going at once. Yeah, one's like. Right there, I, I moved it a bit because I wanted to see what the storm was going to do a bit. Wow. You guys have no idea how incredible this is. You guys have no idea how incredible this is. You can definitely see the twisting of the clouds right now. Whoa. Like the wind is getting really intensity. It's picking up right now. It's picking up even more. I should like go back inside already. But it's like the same time, I don't want to miss it. I really don't. I don't want to miss it. Take the dog out too, like, because I guess someone just forgot to take the dog out because he kind of owed me for the fact that I missed part of the storm. Yeah, and he's taking me the out. Oops, I guess the recording stopped. I don't know what the happened happened there. I hope I didn't miss the uh, filming, but there you go. Oh yeah, guys, it's pretty intense. As you guys can see it, right here, right now, this way. The storm is definitely like white inside. We're white inside of it now. It's white on top of us. There it is. As you guys can tell, there it is. White on top of us, like, whoop, right here. The meso is here right now in the eggs. Oh, yeah. It's not like fully as built up as it would be, but the lightning is definitely coming close from that side. Definitely want to keep on eye. Right. The storm is definitely moving in from that angle. But the meso is right there. Oh yeah. Um, definitely see the line lighting on that side. Um, not as strong. It's on the way now, so I definitely need to get the camera going because I. Huh? I, I, okay. I'll see you guys later. Oh, for sure. So the meso has like left now but almost well, left and then we got the, the outside and outside and look at how waning is look at the wind look at the wind all the way like look at the wane right now it's like waning hard it's pulling hard right now but i got less of the footage as i can of the storm itself which is incredible literally incredible you guys have no idea how incredible it is when i was just looking how intense the storm was like it's kind of redeeming itself how it was yesterday in a way you know, that, that was awesome. Well, the storm is leaving right now, and it was like only waning, like not even like 
even for like 10 minutes and I think it was like maybe 10 or 20 minutes at least when we had the storm around but I think part of the mess was that way still like just part of it from that side of the edge I think might be wrong but it doesn't really get that much uh, texture as what I'm seeing around now in case if I get any more photos or like anything interesting around here yeah it looks quite a bit interesting in this area and I think the storm's trying to die down there. I don't think it's as strong as it was done it was. It's the second weighing system and small though. Like it's literally small. That's all the weighing system is right there. So I don't I think it's very, very much of it, but earlier today we had like a bit of like a, a funnel that was coming by, like it weighing so hard, but that's pretty much it for that one. That's like show some weighing system right around there, so that was shows down the weight all, but it was it was a mess though, but I guess it died off when it um, kept going sooner in the southeast. Yeah. Um, I guess we're gonna might get more storm small way it says, but I don't know if it's accurate yet. And so I'll be definitely probably in a different area small, so definitely gonna be interesting to see if anything is gonna walk out not sure there's gonna be any more storms tonight but that's pretty much it's what's going on pretty crazy